Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your monthly horoscope for the month of May. I just want to say real quickly that I've added some new readings to my website astrologygrace.com. I've added some synastry readings which are like love readings or couples readings but you can also do any type of relationship with like two people and I have also added forecast readings so your specific birth chart looking at like a day you know in the future, um, a certain day, a month, um, you know, whatever it is you're interested in. So check that out if you're interested, but let's get right into this horoscope. So the big thing with this month is that Uranus is moving from Aries into Taurus on the 16th or like around the 16th. And, you know, that's a big deal because Uranus only moves, you know, every seven months and anytime an outer planet moves, it's just a big shift. So for you, you might notice some interesting changes um, because Uranus is going to enter your sixth house. This might bring some chaos or maybe some instability, you know, to your work life. It's gonna last for a bit, but um, on the bright side of things, you're gonna notice that you might have more job opportunities. They might be fleeting, but they might, you know, be very frequent. And often, you know, when you least expect it or from an unusual place, you might have a job opportunity or, you know, some sort of opportunity to further yourself goal-wise or career-wise. You might also notice some changes with your health when Uranus shifts into your sixth house and you might adopt a whole new attitude towards your health, whether it's like your mental health or your physical health. Maybe you would try some new spiritual things or you might just have a whole new outlook. The sun is going to be in Taurus this month and then switch into Gemini and for you it's going to start out in your sixth house and then make its way into your seventh house. So it's a really great time for any lifestyle changes at the beginning of the month like we were talking about and any focus on health and wellness you're gonna have a lot going on in your sixth house this month so anything to do with like your daily routines um, you know maybe you start a new exercise plan uh, you might want to work harder you might have more demands at work and you kind of enjoy that also with the sixth house there could be an opportunity for you to get a new pet or to get involved in some volunteer work when the sun moves into your seventh house there'll be more of a focus on relationships and cooperating with other people it's a really good time to connect with other people and you're going to be feeling more social than usual i mean you're a social person but you're going to be feeling even more social during this time you're also going to be feeling a lot more confident in your social life and you know if you're single you might start dating more if you're in a relationship you might want to be more social with your partner like go out with friends or just do more be out of the house more often if you live together or try new things you're just gonna have this want for love and romance because you're gonna have the sun in your seventh house during the second half of the month and you're also gonna have mercury in your seventh house for you you know in the beginning of the month like i said it's gonna be a great time to socialize and you're gonna want to like have fun you know focus on your hobbies maybe play some sports go to sporting events it's a really good time to create you know with your hands, with your mind, it's just a good time to be creative. Um, and you know, as you move in, as Mercury moves into your sixth house, you're gonna be feeling more focused on work. So you're gonna have fun at the beginning of the month, and then kind of fall into more of a focus on your work life and or you know your school life goals, whatever you're working on. You might be really focused on details and be inclined to like miss the bigger picture, but it'll pass eventually. You might, it, it's also a good time to find a new job if you've been looking for one. With Venus, um, it's going to start in your seventh house and move into your eighth house. So a lot of action in your seventh house and your sixth house this month. Um, so, you know, you're going to be focused on love and relationships, partnerships, and it's a really good time to strengthen ties with anybody that you're close to or resolve any issues with people that you've been having, especially like people that you're very close to or that you're in a romantic relationship with or in some sort of a partnership with. Maybe it could be business related, maybe your best friend. Compromise and negotiation can really help you during this time to avoid like conflict. There might be a possibility of an an engagement for you during this time whether you're a man or a woman um, doesn't matter and as Venus moves into your eighth house you might have some success with like getting a loan you've been trying to get um, you might be trying to make a bigger purchase or put a mortgage or get a mortgage going on a house like buy a house <laughs> just want to be careful to be wise with your money save it when you can and spend it only you know where you need to and where it's necessary um, Mars is going to start in your second house and move into your third house throughout the month. So while it's in your second house, you're going to be feeling really determined and maybe like a little bit stubborn. Um, you know, you can be really constructive during this time and, you know, it's a good time to like look over your budget because as we talked about earlier, you might have some opportunities to invest in something during the second half of the month. So maybe spend the first half of the month 
not the whole month, but looking into like finances and seeing what's going on there. As it moves into your third house, you want to be really careful. Like I know you can be blunt in general, but think before you speak or, you know, before you text or before you send an email because there's an opportunity that it might end up in the wrong hands. And you might be more inclined to argue during this time or just kind of react to things in a quicker fashion, whether it's you know being witty or getting angry so just be aware of that and try to like slow things down if at all possible because it could lead to an accident if you're moving too quickly and just like feeling too chaotic jupiter or the sun is going to be opposing jupiter this month through the first and the 15th and for you you are gonna, you know, you're generally an optimistic person and this could create you to become even more optimistic than usual, which is great and you should be positive, but it might cause you to like either, you know, make a mistake or just, you know, not think one side through because you weren't being totally practical about a certain situation. So just be aware of that, especially in the first half of the month because you don't want it to lead to like loss or wasting your time, something along those lines. But that is your horoscope for the month of May. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. And as always, have a good day or night.